Hey, Agent of Doubt. I would like to see a video of you describing why you think it is a good thing that Google Plus has been separated from YouTube. I just want to see an explanation for it. Um, as I've said in, in some of my past videos since this has happened, uh, Google Plus uh, discussions, decent discussions have plummeted. I mean, it's just... Pfft. There aren't very many discussions going on now. As most of those things were going on because of the combining of YouTube and Google+. Plus. Um, so, it, it, you've described how you think people should really just state their opinions, be willing to put their foot in their mouth once in a while, and that's fine, but do you think it should be to the point where people should deal, have to deal with a rabid fan base from a larger YouTuber? Knowing that they're, they're probably not going to get any backing from anyone? They leave a comment on one of those larger YouTubers' channels, on one, of their, on one of their videos, saying they disagree with these points, knowing that the, that the rabid fans are just going to eat them alive, and there's not going to be any discussion. It's just going to basically be them trying to make fun of the person for making that, uh, to, for stating that opinion. You know, they're not going to get any backing from their people in their Google Plus circles because it won't be it won't be shown there. Do you really think people have the fortitude for that sort of thing? Do you think people should have the fortitude for that sort of thing? I'm just kind of curious. Maybe you don't realize how much Google Plus being combined with YouTube gave people the courage to state things on popular YouTubers' uh, videos. Maybe you don't realize that. Um, so I, I would really love it if you were able to make some sort of video or something explaining why you think the separating of Google Plus from YouTube is a good thing. Thanks.